Hi everyone. So for the next two weeks, you're going to be studying the concept of induction. And the purpose of that lab is to somewhat come up with a model for how induction works. Now, since we can't send at this apparatus you have shown in front of you to you, what I'm going to do is go through how this apparatus is set up. You're going to have a lengthy discussion about several different variables of this apparatus. And then we're going to simply give you data. So what we have here is we have a tube with plastic tube with holes in it. Now a pin slides through those holes and it supports a magnet at various heights. Attached to this plastic tube is a coil of wire at some known diameter. Now attached to the coil wire are two leads that run and connect to the oscilloscope. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this ordinary bar magnet and I'm gonna drop it through this plastic tube at a random height. What I want you to do is watch the signal appear on the oscilloscope in the bottom right of this video. So as you can see, the moment that the magnet passed through the coil of wire, a signal began to appear in this oscilloscope. And what this signal represents is voltage on the y-axis or time on the x-axis. And so what we see here is we see an increasing signal in one direction. And as the magnet passes through half or halfway through the coil of wire, the signal switches direction and then becomes the opposite. Now the peak to peak voltage that you see here is determined by several factors in this apparatus, some of which you'll be discussing today.